<laughs> okay, let me just make sure I'm set up here and that I did it right. So just double checking on my phone. Mm -hmm. I see me. I hate how the thumbnail is always something different. I worked so hard to get the thumbnail done on time. And then I see it and it's God knows what. Alright, we look good. Let me make sure y'all can... You know, make sure y'all can hear. <laughs> okay, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I literally just got home from work and I did not have time to record what I really want to record for you all. So hopefully I will get a chance to, but... I reached out to my sister, Shays the Sage. So if you're not subscribed to her channel, please make you sure that you subscribe. She is all things motherhood and childbirth and in particular breastfeeding. She gives a lot of breastfeeding tips. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe to her channel. So I was like, oh, I gotta go live today. <laughs> Any suggestions? And she came up with a really, really good one, which is the one I'm giving you today, which is how to decide which method to use for locks. Now, there is so much to say about this. Um, I just kind of wrote down some things that to me maybe are like top priority when you're trying to decide which method to use for your locks. Um, but honestly, like always, right? Honestly, you might need like a separate video just to kind of think about um, how you want to maintain them. Like, are you gonna be, are they gonna be free form or semi free form or are you going to be a stickler with, you know, maintaining it, whether it's retie or retwist? So that's a whole nother conversation and a whole nother thing to think about when deciding to do your locks. But there are generally four, I believe, main ways that you can start your locks, and that is the coils. Well, if you're doing free form, honestly, nothing. Nothing is number one. Um, just let your hair do what it does and let it mesh and... Um, combine together and then number two is the coils is the most that is probably like the oldest form of it like that is what people have been doing for years and years and years and then after that people started interlocking with like the sister locks and then from there you get two strand twists oh and I didn't even think about braids before but braids is a way too okay so then there's five ways to do it just let your hair do what it does you can also um coil it two strand twist it interlock it or start it with braids so there's pros and cons to each and every one of those so i'm just going to give you some of them so i have some things that i wrote that i wrote down and um i guess depending on how long it takes me to explain it um i will try to get out as many as possible i would say that um one of the biggest biggest things hey shades of sage I shouted you out, girl. I told people to go check out your channel, and I let them know that you, this video is dedicated to you. You gave me a really good idea. But, um, yes. Okay, so let me start with um, how you're going to care for your locks when they're first starting out. That's a big um, deciding factor. How are you going to care for them when they first start out? Now, you can want any desired result at the end, but... Your desired result also has to do with how you start out. So um, I'm going to talk about some other things, and you're very welcome, lady. I'm going to talk about some other things that you can think about when deciding how to do your locks, but you also do have to think about how do you want to maintain them when you first start out. Are you looking for a style that when you first start out, you don't want to do much with your baby locks, like when they're not mature yet? You don't want to do much with them if that's the case then interlocking and mm, interlocking would be the easiest one if you start off with interlocking that one you do not have to maintain like as baby locks even though they're not mature they are set in place and they're going to stay and then runner up to that as far as set in place would be the braids or the two strand twist they're going to stay in place so i'm not going to really discuss too much the freeform ones because Again, that's just a whole nother thing, but if you're looking when you have your starter locks, your baby locks, if you're looking to not do a lot of maintenance with them, interlocking is going to be the best choice, and then of course the braids or two strand twists are next. If you go with coils, coils require a little bit more attention, and that's where you get a lot of people telling their clients or telling themselves or whoever, you know, don't wash your hair a lot, 
that type of thing um be careful what you do because coils are just so subject to coming out and um the curlier your hair is the less it will come out but they are very subject to coming out so coils kind of require you to baby your hair a little bit more so with that being said um you do have to think about maintenance and time if you didn't already go ahead and check out my video where i said locks is not for everyone <laughs> because it is not but you do have to think about maintenance and time so not only how are you going to do your locks for when they're starter locks but how are you going to do them when they are mature are you looking to interlock them because if so then most likely you're going to choose smaller locks and of course you're going to interlock them maybe in the beginning so if you want to interlock them, then you might start off with braids or two-strand twists or interlocking from the beginning if you plan to interlock as your form of maintenance of maintaining your new growth. But if you want to retwist them, then if you want to retwist them, then you might want to start off with coils or a two-strand twist are really good for retwist. And most times that is for larger locks. So sides definitely has something to do with it. So you do have to consider size as well. So you got to consider how do you want to care for your baby locks? How do you want to maintain your new growth? And what size are you looking for? If you are looking for small locks, then most times that's why a lot of people choose the interlocking method or the two strand twist and even braiding for really small locks. Um, but if your locks are larger, you have a lot more leeway. Um, you can go with your two strand twist or you can go with your coils. Now you could do braids, but braids are braids are kind of hard to get rid of that because you have the, the three strands going on. Braids is hard to lose that three strand look in your locks. Not that it can't be done because it can be done. There's plenty of people who started out with braids and they lost their look. But um, yeah, braids are a little bit harder to lose it. So if you're looking for larger locks, then yeah, you might want to go with two strand twists or the coils. And Shades of Sage is saying, oh, she should have started her with coils. Yeah, that's true. And she's probably saying that because when you do think about sides, if you want really juicy locks, like if your main goal is big and juicy, go with the coils. I think the coils give the biggest form as far as uh, diameter, I think is up the most because coils are loose. Like if you two strand twist, if you interlock, the more you do to your hair, two strand twist and interlock and braiding, the more condensing, the more you're condensing your hair. But coils are a little loose and they give your hair plenty of room to swell. So if you want really, really big, really, really juicy locks, coils is the way to go. But coils again are a lot of maintenance in the beginning because they are so loose you don't want to easily just wash them out but two strand twist is a good runner up to thick thick locks two strand twist even mine the two strand twist at the bottom part is so obviously thicker than the interlock part like on some like that's what makes it look so thick at the ends is the two strand twist so the two strand twist is so obviously obviously thicker um and of course if you're talking about 2.3 point and all that kind of rotation stuff for your locks then you are going to consider um the more points you do the more you're condensing it as well but yeah if you want really thick locks then you're going to go with two strand twists or the coils um another thing to decide when you're trying to decide where how to start your locks think about hair density and your curl pattern now your curl pattern the curlier your hair is you have a more variety of choices of what you can choose from. So if your hair is super curly, like mine is 4Z, I literally could have coiled, braided, two strand twist, whatever. They weren't going to come out because of the coil. Hey, um, I think it's a Flamingo Lou. <laughs> it's so small in here, but that's what it looks like. So I hope I'm saying it right. Hey, thank you so much for joining us. But yes, if you are... Um, you have to consider your hair density and you have to consider your curl pattern. The curlier your hair is, it kind of holds anything. So you kind of just take your pick on what you want to do. But people that have a looser curl pattern, like your hair, your curls are bigger or there is, you know, it's closer to being wavy, whatever the case may be. Most times for them, if they want small locks, I usually interlock it to make sure that it's set so that it doesn't come out. And if you want large locks and you have, um, 
a looser curl then you could go with the coils again you could try the coils and you could also try the two strand twist with it so yeah let me see is there anything else i wanted to mention your curl pattern the thickness of it the care of your baby locks maintenance and time of your baby locks and of your new growth you have to consider those and then i think the last thing i really want to talk about was if you are somebody who's on the fence about locks and you think about taking them out if you're like not so solid with yourself and you're like thinking that you may take it out or maybe in a few years you might take it out like you don't plan on keeping them forever forever like some people then they say and i don't know how true this is but they say that the easiest one to take out is interlocking which kind of makes sense to me because if you think about interlocking it's kind of like putting your your hair in knots so it's kind of like crossing them in a knot like this but and just going back and forth just like making a bunch of those um they say that interlocking is the easiest to take out but they do say that if you change how you maintain your new growth so say you started out with two strand twists and then you started interlocking your roots or if you started out with braids and then you started interlocking they say that if you change how you maintain your new growth then it might be a little bit more difficult for you when you go to take them out as well if you change up on how you started and how you are maintaining your new growth so like mine are two strand twists and i maintain them with interlocking so if i ever go to take them out then maybe i will experience some difficulty because i interlock the roots but we will see if the time ever comes but yes i think that's all that i have you have to consider your curl pattern if you have a loose curl pattern if you have a loose curl pattern then you are not most likely if you want smaller ones then you're going to go with interlocks and if you want bigger ones you might try coils or two strand twists i have heard about crocheting the roots as a form of maintenance i've seen a lot of crocheting for um like repairing hair attaching a lock repairing it attaching it maybe if it's thinning And maybe if somebody is struggling with their hair actually locking, you might crochet them to uh, kind of seal in the lock a little bit better. So maybe somebody with a looser curl pattern or somebody whose hair is just like, yeah, we're not locking right now. <laughs> so you might crochet their new growth. And then you still, though, from, from my experience, you still will follow up with a with retwisting it. So not just leaving it at a crocheting part, but also retwisting the part that you crocheted good question now yeah so you want to consider your curl pattern you want to consider do you want to take it out that is a, a thought you need to think about your maintenance and time your thickness of it of course if you interlock if you start with interlock or you maintain with interlock it's not going to be as thick as somebody who starts with coils or two strand twists and if you're thinking about taking them out braids is kind of hard they say braids is the hardest one to take out after years and years and years um, but I guess other people who have taken it out before, if you're somebody who have taken them out, you can share your experience in the comments down below. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. I did not say that. Don't forget to thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Um, yeah, think about your hair density and think about how you want to care for your baby locks. And with that being said, um, the other thing I wanted to mention about hair density is that if you have a lot of hair, meaning it's very dense like you have a lot of strands in one area a lot of hair then you kind of can decide what you want but understand that the smaller you make the locks the more dense they become like your hair your hair gets a lot thicker with the smaller you make the lock so i'm not talking about the actual lock itself i mean like your hair looking thicker and being thicker when you go to maintain it so if you already have thick hair and then you get really small locks expect your locks to be super super thick but on the flip side, if you're somebody who has been experiencing thinning or if you have been experiencing or if you just have low density hair, like I just have low density hair, then you might not want to go with larger locks because obviously a lot more of your scalp will be showing. So if you use smaller locks, it covers up your scalp a little bit more and it adds a whole lot of thickness to it. So I hope that that helps. I hope that all these things help. My name is Tayana. I am a licensed cosmetologist and I do do hair and a whole bunch of hair, love hair, all that fun stuff. I wanted to get this video out. I hope it helps those of you who are thinking about locks um, or thinking about doing locks on someone else or, you know, 
just enjoy the life journey and watching life videos. I hope this helps you decide or helps you explain to someone else how to decide how they want to start their locks. There's a lot of different ways to start it. And again, no sets of locks are the same. So you might want it to be a certain way or want it to look like your lock crush, like their hair. But honestly, your hair is going to do its own thing. It's going to look its own way. So you do have to embrace it and kind of fall in love with your own locks and your own lock journey and whatever your hair looks like because it's going to be the best for you. It's going to look good on you. But thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to Shay Sage and Flamingo Lou, I believe it is, for tuning in. Don't forget to check out Shades of Sage channel where you can learn about motherhood and stuff. But thank you so much. I hope to see you in the next one. If you have any questions, any more comments or anything, suggestions, go ahead and leave them down below. And until next time, adios.